Welcome back to our YouTube channel guys. My name is Ardil and I'm really proud to be showing you another behind the sound video. In these episodes, basically what we're doing is showing you more behind the scenes footage like what you guys have been asking for from our Instagram page plus our YouTube channel. So we're going behind the scenes, showing you exactly what goes on on a custom sound system. So today I'm walking you around the Ferrari FF. I'm gonna be going through all the products that are lined up at the front, as well as the fact I'm gonna show you the what's inside the actual cabin so far and also all the work that we've done on the car we've had loads of great feedback about these behind the sound videos so hopefully you're enjoying them if you want anything more from the channel if you want us to show you more detail anything else from the systems feel free to get in touch drop us a message drop us a comment on this video but hopefully you enjoy we're going to be stepping around inside the vehicle now but make sure you guys stay tuned for other future videos and you hit that subscribe button below and that guys let's walk around it we're going to start with a product overview then we're going to go inside look inside the cabin then going into the boot and then later on, on another separate video, we're gonna have a full episode on actually the final system that's been installed, what it looks like, how it sounds. It's gonna be absolutely amazing. So make sure you stay tuned for that. But the best thing you guys can do is press that subscribe button below right now. Otherwise, let's go. Right, so now we are in front of the Ferrari FF. This car is actually a 2012 model. What I'm gonna be doing is talking you through the full product lineup right now. So we're gonna be starting off with the tweeters. The tweeters have the Miele Pro to MP25.3. So basically what that is, and the reason why we've chosen that on this Ferrari FF is because we wanted to go into a stock location. That's exactly what we've done. So that's already installed and inside the door card, which we'll show you shortly. Then moving down actually on top of the dashboard, we have the three inch Audison Thesis mid-range speakers. So what they are is a phenomenal mid-range, give you loads and loads of clarity. And that's actually gonna bring the sound stage right up top. To install these are incredibly difficult to do on this car. I'm gonna be showing you exactly why these have taken so much time to do and why custom sound systems take so long to do on cars like this. They take a lot of time, take a lot of detail, especially when you're installing them to a high standard like we are. So we'll be talking a lot about the Audison Thesis three inch mid ranges very shortly. Moving down inside the door card, we've got the Audison Thesis sax, which is just here. These are actually our most popular six and a half inch driver of all time. So these are the best money can buy. Audison Thesis sax, incredible bit of kit. We've actually got them in our demo car as well. They sound incredible, loads of mid bass, and that's actually installed already into, again, stock location. Then for the rear speakers, we're using the Audison Voce coaxial, just giving you a little bit more depth behind the, behind the cabin, sort of giving you that rear feel that you need in a car like this. Plus also it's a really nice product that also has a coaxial built in. So it's basically the tweeter built into the six and a half inch driver. Then in stock location, we've got the Audison Prima 18 sub. So this is being built at the moment. It's not fully installed yet, but I can show you where that's gonna sit. Then actually for the amplification, we're actually using the brand new AP1D Forza edition. So basically what that is, is a 1000 watt of one ohm uh, amplifier that will drive the sub. Then we've got the Forza 8.9. So it's eight channels of amplification in that, nine channels of processing power. What that amplifier does actually links these two together and then what it does is it gives, in essence, a 9.9. .9. So eight, nine channels of amplification going into the system and nine channels of processing power. So then we can tune the system as soon as it's all done. I've also left the cable down here as well. And that's really important. The reason why we've done that is because you know, it's oxygen free cabling. It's one of the highest spec cables that connections wiring do. And wiring is actually a very, very important part on a system like this. So now we're gonna be stepping inside, showing you what we've done inside the cabin, then we move over to the booth. So, before we head into the actual car itself, I wanted to show you guys this part here. This is actually off the vehicle. And the reason why I wanna show you this is because we wanna show you the actual time and effort that goes into doing a system. So as you can see here, this is a three inch mid range, which sits right in the top corner of the Ferrari FF dashboard. Then we've also got the stock Ferrari sensor speaker and the sensor uh the speaker which was a tweeter so that was a component set that was there we're actually doing that as a delete so we're not using that whatsoever that's just going to be unplugged because it's going to ruin the sound stage once we've got this new setup in place then what we've got is this three inch mid-range in the other corner so this is the ferrari ff dashboard which now i know this might be a little bit scary for you guys but this is what is involved in doing a audison thesis three inch mid-range upgrade on the ferrari ff so just look at this guys. 
completely stripped out. The reason why we've done that is to not only access this three inch mid-range, which sits right up in that top corner, but also to add in the Pioneer unit, which is gonna sit in there. Basically what we're doing for that is using that as a new media source, so removing the Ferrari radio and upgrading that with a Pioneer built-in navigation, wireless Apple CarPlay, wireless Android Auto, CD, DVD, loads of features now added in. That's gonna sit right up top and center inside the dashboard. That also comes with a custom fascia, also with custom leads, but also the other thing that we're gonna be doing is full camera retention as well. So the car came in with factory front and rear cameras. We are also retaining that, which is an incredible bit of kit that we're using to do that. So as you guys can see, completely stripped out the dashboard. One key thing that I spoke to you earlier about was the cabling. So as you can see here, we've got the highest grade connections cabling. Everything is gonna be loomed up, taped up, so it's all incredibly neat. We've run downside alongside this panel here. So it's all out of the way. It runs alongside manufacturer wiring. Then it's all gonna be taped up in the same tapes that are used from stock. Then inside the door card, we've upgraded this speaker in here with the Audison Thesis Saxus in stock location and all done. Then we've got the Miele Pro tweeter, which is in stock location as well. So you can't see anything in here. One thing that we've added into here, which you'll see in the final video later on, so make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss that one, is the acoustic soundproofing that we've done in this door. What this acoustic soundproofing is, is basically a three mil skins layer. It's actually a very, very important part to any installation that we do, but in terms of the actual system that goes in, so it's a three layer system. So you've got the back of this panel here, then you've got the central layer, which actually holds the actual speaker itself. Then you've got the back of the door card, which is all done as well. So I don't know if this will come out in the video very well, but it's completely solid now. So the reason why we use skins through more layer is basically to remove any resonation that we're getting from factory door cards. Plus all the clips that are on this factory door card have also been cloth taped, so they're really, really solid and no rattles are gonna come from that. Plus also it gets rid of some of that dirty road noise that you don't want, as well as the fact it's just builds a better acoustic environment for your new sound system to work in. So as you can see there guys, loads of work's been going on to remove that dashboard. Plus also what we've got in the back here is in that bottom corner there is the Audison the uh, Voce coaxial speaker, which is gonna provide that rear feel. That again is gonna go in stock location. You're not gonna see that whatsoever. The other thing that we've got, as you can see here, the power cables are run from the battery in the front. Again, alongside manufacturer wiring, obviously it also needs tidying up slightly, but it's just to show you guys a little bit goes on what's behind the scenes. Plus we've added in, see here, that's the skins three mil layer. We've not quite finished on that yet. There is still more to go in, but just wanted to show you guys a little bit more about what's going on. So if we move over to the boot inside here and what's going on, again, what you'll see and find is more skins three mil layer, really neatly installed in key areas that are gonna rattle. Plus also we've got on this side, Again, oxygen free cable from connections run into this corner. So what's going in this corner? Basically, it looks like this on the other side. However, this is gonna house the Audison Prima sub. So it's an eight inch sub, performs really, really nicely. And with that awesome power that we're gonna be getting from the Forza amplifier, that is gonna absolutely rock. That is going into stock location. That's why we've acoustically soundproof here and we're building a custom sub box to basically sit in behind stock location. So you're not gonna see any of that whatsoever. Then on this side, what we've got is first of all, the Audison Prima Forza. Um, this is the AP1D here. So this is the amp for the sub. And then we've got the Forza amplifier, which is the 8.9, already installed hidden behind stock location down in there. So it's really cool. This is actually where the JBL factory amplifier was mounted. That was sat on a factory bracket. Again, we've gone onto that same bracket. We've reutilized exactly the same factory loom tape as you can see all the way going in. Plus that does need needing up a little bit more, but we'll show you that in the finished article in that finished video, which will be live on our channel as soon as this installation is done. But I wanted to show you guys what the Ferrari looked out, completely stripped out, as you guys can see there. What we're doing in the rear quarters, so they're the Audison Voce on factory brackets, plus then obviously what's going on in the boot. This is all completely hidden away, so we've got one amp hidden away in there, that's the Audison Forza 8.9. 
Then we've got the Audison Forza 1D, which is the amplifier powering the sub, which is going to a custom box, which goes into there. If you want to check out more stuff on our custom sub box design, make sure you stay tuned on our Instagram page, on Instagram stories. We've got loads of stuff going on at the moment with that sub box. So make sure you stay tuned for that. Plus, there'll be loads of content coming on there soon. So hopefully, you guys have enjoyed this behind the sound video. But if you are interested in getting one of these systems installed into your car, you know exactly what to do. Drop us a message on any of our social media platforms book an audio consultation via our website we'll design spec and then install your new custom sound system but in today's video we're basically focusing on showing you guys what's actually involved on a custom sound system as you guys can see a hell of a lot is involved it takes an immense amount of detail it takes a very very skilled team to carry out these installations to these very high standards that we do day in and day out so Thank you very much guys for watching our very short video on another behind the sound bit of footage on the Ferrari FF. So thank you very much for watching. We'll see you soon.